it may be... I think I just made a realization. I think my brain has been on this because I've been watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And just because. Um, and, like, my brain is thinking in, like, detectives and stuff like that. But we, some of us yesterday, solved this mystery. And Emily's going to coach us through how her detective crew was able to solve this mystery because it's all connected. So you know like those crazy detectives on TV shows that have like red string connecting like this to that to that. So Emily on the way out, I heard I heard their group talking about, oh, we need to like act like a crazy detective. And I was like, go for it. Like I'm all about that. So here's our mystery. The the it was A from yesterday. So if you did A, you might recognize this. But without further ado, Emily, would you like to come explain this to us? Okay, guys. You may call me crazy, mad, but hear me out. They're all connected. No, wait, what's your detective name? You're crazy. Um, very uncrazy. Riga. Emily. Okay. <laughs> um, original. Very original. It all starts with migration. But then, little do you know, that the pink spot, that the pink spotted moth that actually stands for H is, co is connected to the monarch butterfly that migrates just 200 miles less and four, then four times the monarch butterfly. So then we have to use either algebra or the 5D process, algebra. one of my favorites. Could it possibly be related to the process of elimination? We will never know. <laughs> we, have to, we have to start with migration, and then we have to go down to the desert locus, which equals B. And then um, calculating with immense research, I discovered that D equals 800 equals M plus 800. So we could only put that into... <laughs> I'm sorry, I... So we have to we need to pause... Okay, we can just do it up here. Yeah. Sorry, pause real quick, guys. A lot of you got mad yesterday. Well, maybe not a lot of you. But when I was walking around and checking work, if you missed this four times, so you should probably grab like a highlighter out of your bin, that four times is critical. Lucy, you with us? Because I just asked everyone to grab a highlighter. That if we want. So, to pause with what Emily has already said. Yeah, you can pull that out of the sheet protector for now, but then it's going to live in there because it's an important paper. We, and guys, I did these variables last year. I didn't want to totally remake this, this worksheet. So I asked Emily to go along with my variables. Do you see how Emily got this D equals M plus 800? It's 800 more than, and I love Emily's diagram over on the whiteboard where everything's connected by the red string. String, quote, unquote. Grace? Can I show what I did with Emily? Hang on just a second, because we're going to let Emily do her thing, and then, yeah, I if you want to do. Yeah, so Emily's thing might show that, though. It might be the same thing. So then, H, guys, I did a research report on hawks when I was a kid. I, like, have a thing with hawks because they're sweet. So I chose H for hawk moth. Right? Because I'm just going to call it the hawk moth. I don't really care that it's pink spotted. But do you see how we got 200 miles less than four times the distance of the moth? So this four times, really important. And then the minus 200. Are we cool on all that? All right. Now I can let Emily keep going. So for the process of elimination, what we did next was we had to guess what B was in order to figure out. What H was, what and what D was. After, so I started using the 5D process with my partner Bianca, and she started. <laughs> then Bianca started going all crazy with the calculator, saying, "It must all add up. It must all add up. It's all connected." And we all started. It's my crazy out. detective voice. And then Grace was like, "Guys, algebra," and you we were like, "No, it must be harder." And so we started with 50, way too low. Not even close. We started with 100, then we went to 100. Not even close. Then we went to 1,000. Closer, but still not enough. Then after going to 1,050, yes, it wasn't 500, you know, it was still too low. So guess what? We jumped up to 3,000, too high. Then we went to 2,000, and it was just right, like the porridge. <laughs> like the porridge. <laughs> Like the porridge with Goldilocks. I was about to say, that sentence left us hanging. Yeah. All right. So that's how uh, Detective Riga got that figured out through 5D. 
Grace, would you like to come enlighten us on some algebra of how we could have not guessed our way to there? So really, it is this worksheet. You can scroll through on the board if you want. I know, this is just my worksheet. Sweet. So yeah, but this worksheet talks it through, so if you want to reference the worksheet, you can. Or the cheat sheet, I guess we can say. Okay. So actually, before, because I don't want to interrupt you once you start. Sorry, I caught myself right at the thing. Guys, we've talked about the desert locust. We've talked about the hawk moth. Absolutely. What haven't we, like, we've got D for desert locust, we've got H for hawk moth. What are we missing? What? This is the desert locust, right, guys? I came around and I told some people to stop. So desert locust, right? I told some people to quit using. Thank you. What? Hey, when they get people's names wrong, it's like worse to then repeat it and or make fun of it even more. What bug haven't we talked about yet? The monarch. So guys, you need to write down on your paper like M equals M. We're already using M. We're already using M. Why not bless you? Why not keep using M? So guys, I left you space on your paper. Right here, you should put M equals M. Emily stole my dry erase marker. Yeah. All right. Grace, enlighten us with algebra. Common variables. Yep. But after the difference, I want to. I put these together. So what'd you get when you put those together? Six hundred. Sweet. So then it's six hundred, and I put the M together. So if we scroll down a little bit and or look down the cheat sheet, everything Grace is walking us through, this is on your cheat sheet. So Grace is saying she put 800 and negative 200 together, got 600. Look at that on your paper right now. Make sure it makes sense in your head. That 600, Grace just said, came from the 800 and the negative 200, or the minus 200. Any questions on that? Grace, how'd you get 6M again? You have to call the You're right. Yeah. Actually, no, I because I have for variable and I have butterfly. Yeah, because I made you guys switch. So I used M for monarch. And I know your guys' gut went to B for butterfly, but I used M for monarch. Guys, if you just have M, that's one M. So I got one M, another one M, and then four M. So totals up to six M. Hey Emily, make sure you're paying attention since you did five B yesterday and now we're doing algebra. All right, go ahead. Keep going, Grace. Then we had 6M six, and 600. Six mm -hmm. so um, hey, grab the little scroll thing. Let's scroll down a little bit. See if it shows what you want to show. Um, so then I did, um, I did 12,000 um, minus 600. Yeah, it was 12,600 minus 600. Okay. Yeah. And then, but... Twelve thousand, because it's right there on the paper. Oh yeah, um, and then and then I did divided by six, and then I got like. Guys, I hate to say it, Grace. Grace has been working on homework ahead of time, so she's already figured this out. The five D process is kind of silly. It's kind of stupid. It, well, it's not stupid. I shouldn't say that. It's a waste of time because we can be better. Then guess, no, guess, no, guess, no, get, ooh, closer, get, ooh, like, it's a waste of time. You don't have enough time to waste your time. Trust me, you want to get mastered by Friday for the canteen, you want to get mastered by the end of the quarter. You don't have extra time. This is algebra. So look up here real quick. I got some people not paying attention. Look up here real quick to review this in one fell process, like one process straight through. We wrote expressions for everything they told us. The desert locust, the hawk moth, and the monarch. We put it all together in one equation, but now we have to preserve equality. So whatever I do on one side, I gotta do on the other side. Now technically, I could divide by six right now, and everything would divide by six. 
You could in this problem, but not always. So the better option is always add or subtract first, then multiply or divide next. So you might want to make a little note here that this is always the best first step. So like first, you want to undo addition or subtraction. First, you want to undo your addition or subtraction. Then second or last, right? Really, you could say last because sometimes there's more to do. Lastly, you want to multiply or divide or do whatever to get that M just to one M because that's what we're trying to figure out is what is one M plus <laughs> Then once we have solved for the monarch, because Desert Locust used monarch and Hawk Moth used monarch, we plug it in to figure out what they are. Let's go. Any questions on this? So we're just now transitioning to algebra, so that's totally fine that it doesn't make sense, like, completely. But let me run through it one more time and see if me highlighting and doing some stuff can help. So we were given from, like, verbal, like, words, right, not numbers, not equations, not math, but we were given words that the desert locust migrates 800 miles farther than the monarch. So to say that with math, the desert locust migrates is equals, right, the monarch butterfly and another 800 more. Does that make sense for why we wrote M plus 800? Well, I get all that stuff, but I still don't, like, get, like... So you get, like, down to here, do you get how we got to this equation? Yeah. Because this was M plus D plus H, but instead of D, I replaced it. Instead of H, I replaced it. Does that all still make sense? Because up here we said D equals this, oh, yeah. H equals that. Those are better. Because, and here, you can highlight this too. Our goal is to work with one variable. So where we had three variables, we don't like three variables. There's a chair. <laughs> we don't like three different variables. That's impossible to solve, actually. This, impossible to solve. If I replace D with M plus 800, which I knew from above, and I replace H with 4M minus 200, which I knew from above, now I'm talking the same talk, right? My M's can all go together. So my 1M, another 1M, so now I'm at 2M's. Four more M, I get to 6M. 800 and negative 200, I get to 600. That's the noise we like. You're still guessing. No, we're not guessing anything. All I'm doing is the math. Right? I haven't guessed anything. I haven't said what if M equals. I haven't guessed. I'm just following the process. So now I want just M. I want just this. Problem is that six and that six hundred. How do I get rid of those? One at a time. I could get rid of the six by doing divide by six but I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna get rid of the 600 first. To get rid of plus 600, take away 600. What, 600 minus 600? Nothing. So that'll make that disappear, but to preserve equality, I gotta do it on both sides. Remember when we talked about drawing a dotted line down the middle? That sometimes helps too, to visualize there's like left side, right side. So then, I've got 6m plus zero, so why would I write plus zero, right? Because these became zero. So just 6m, how do I turn 6m into a just single m? Well, 6 divided by 6 makes my giant 1, so I want 1m, and that's how I get to 2,000. We're going to practice this a lot. This is just showing you don't actually need the 5b process. There is a better way. Not this chapter. You can still 5b process any of this. You could 5b process this. And Emily showed us, like, you totally can. They guessed a few things. Emily? Um, so is it impossible to solve, like, the entire problem without, like, the sum of all of them together? If you didn't know the sum of them together and or you didn't know this stuff, correct, we would not be able to solve. And that is where literally our answer would be not enough information. Like, that's the answer we would write down. 
Like literally, we don't have enough information. Grace? Can you get your algebra and can you talk to us? Yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, for the rest of the textbook, we'll be applying algebraic concepts. So like, if we're trying to find the radius of a circle, but we're given the circumference, we will need to use algebra to work backwards to then work forwards. Radius. Don't worry about it. We're not deep into that yet. Any other questions on this cheat sheet that should live in your binder somewhere safe and get used a lot? Put that in a page protector. Put it in your binder. Use it. A what? A new, but that's not a question to ask me right now. We'll have to find you one. Like Mrs. Pettigrew has some extra binders, but like come see me at lunch or AO or extensions or, or see Pettigrew. Like see one of us, but middle of class is not time to ask me to help you with something that's really your Yeah, we got 10 more minutes left. No, we got 10 more minutes left. Lucy, I got a whole nother thing planned. Jumpstart to Jenga. All right, so. What we would like is tomorrow to be able to come in and have the tower built, have the teams made, have team names already up on the board. You can see team names from this morning. The Riz, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what a Rizzler is. Wow, you're wasting your time right now. So, your task with the next 10 minutes is after I make the random teams, I will come around and give you the closure. You have the rest of the time to determine how your team wants to jumpstart the closure. You could all work on the same problem at the same time. You could divvy up, hey, you do the first two, you do the next two, you do the next two. Right? You could plan out, hey, let's work on this a little bit tonight so we have a head start for tomorrow because whatever we don't finish tomorrow will turn into homework. What you can't do with the next 10 minutes is just doodle on the desks or waste this time. Because I have too much to do for us to waste time. So let's get our teams figured out. I'm going to stop recording so people on the internet don't see our names. Yeah.